everyone, this is Dave with Mile High Drone Services. And the purpose of this video is to talk about ADS-B and how it's implemented on the Mavic 3. Or what I should say is ADS-B detection. I went out to a local RC field today to, uh, actually the way I, the reason I went there was to test the, the zoom camera and the regular camera and uh, do some various shots. But anyway, um, when I was at the RC field, just as I was about to take off, I got an ADS-B alert that an aircraft was in the area, so I didn't take off. And it turns out a manned aircraft, I guess, saw the RC field and he decided to circle it a couple times, which seems kind of strange. But anyway, um, it gave me a good chance to do a screen capture of the uh, ADS-B alerts and bring it up on the map. And so what I'm gonna do now is play that, uh, that recording and then uh, make some comments uh, while it's being shown. So hope you enjoy, thanks. Okay, as I stated earlier, I was about to launch the drone at the RC field and I got an alert stating that an airplane is in my area. So I decided to turn on screen capture and go into the map view and maybe have a little dialogue about how the ADS-B detection works on the Mavic 3. So that's what we're looking at. So where it says H is home and also the drone icon because it's just sitting on the RC runway. And you can actually see two airplanes, actually there's three airplanes that are around me. Um, as soon as an airplane enters what the fly app considers my space, I'll get an alert and then it automatically zooms in. And in order to get the elevation of the airplane and how far the airplane is away from me, I have to actually uh, zoom out on the screen. And if you look over on the far right, you'll see those two little, or you'll see one little script gray box. The top number is how many feet <clears throat> excuse me, he is away from me. And the bottom number is his elevation above ground. So as you can see the box is way to the right of the airplane. It would be very nice if that information were right next to the airplane. Um, it seemed really weird that they would put that information so far to the right. Um, because if you do get an alert and you're flying, you know, you go to map view, you'd like to know with as little effort as possible, uh, number one, how high is that airplane? You know, if you're flying at 200 feet and he's at 2,000 feet, well, then you're not too concerned. You have some time to really, you know, uh, look around. But... You know, if you're at 400 feet and he's at 500 feet or 400 feet, then you may have to take action a lot quicker. And to get that information in front of the pilot as easily as possible, I think would be a good thing. Uh, yeah, I just, it just boggles my mind why DGI would put that information so far to the right. I mean, when they were testing it, didn't it occur to them that, you know, the drone pilot might like to have this information readily available. So, anyway, um, so you can just see the, the plane flying around. He's just flying around the RC field. If you see that big yellow circle where the drone is just on the edge of it, that's a warning zone that GEO has put up for some reason. And I have no idea why. There's no hospital airport or anything there. It's just open field. And why DGI considers that to be a warning zone, God only knows. But that's that's a geo system for you that DGI has implemented. Um, so anyway, that, that plane is just flying around and I'm just sitting on the ground just kind of watching him. So he'll probably be entering, you know, what I, what DGI considers my airspace or my area fairly soon again. And it will give me 
Now I just got another warning and it zoomed in and uh, not quite sure why because I'm still outside the blue circle. Oh, uh, I guess the blue circle gives me a red alert. Otherwise, I just get a yellow, yellow alert. There's three levels of granularity on how you can be notified, as far as I can tell. And, okay, so you see that big green circle? Whenever an airplane enters that area, I believe, is when I get notified. So it's, that's many, many miles. And in a second, I'll bring up the, uh, the screen to change the notification zone or the sensitivity. Right now, I'm on the most sensitive. So we have two planes coming. Those two planes are actually going to be coming relatively close to each other. One's at uh, 15,000 feet away, which is three miles. And he's flying at 1,890 feet. And the other one is 12,000 feet away from me, which is two and a half miles, and he's flying at 1,800 feet, or 1,794. So another airplane has appeared to have entered my area. Not sure where he's at. See the two. The two are kind of approaching each other. Well, there's one at the bottom coming up. And now I've got three planes to contend with. So I'm going to go to medium high collision risk instead of high high collision risk. So it's a little annoying whenever an airplane gets detected, it automatically zooms in. It's also kind of strange that DJI can't figure out which way the airplane's going. I mean, whenever it updates, it has the airplane moved in the right direction, or the correct direction, and then it changes. And like, well, planes don't do that. I mean, I guess a helicopter could, but not that quickly. So I'm now in the red zone of the airplane, so getting manned aircraft approaching. And now it's starting to go away from me. So it'd be nice if DGI were also able to say, well, you know, if you're going north and the airplane's going south, and you guys are flying away from each other, that the risk isn't as severe. But it doesn't do that. So anyway, that's the uh, the info I have on the ADSB. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll talk again. Thank you.